And now it's time for our weekly segment, Caring for the Community. Every Friday at 7, we're giving a local nonprofit a couple of minutes to introduce themselves to you. So joining us tonight is Ed Rain. He is the president and CEO of Food for the Poor, and they have a particular project that he wants to talk to us about. But first, quickly tell us what your organization does, because it's not just about food, even though it's called Food for the Poor. No, it's not. So uh, we are a Christian uh, organization that has uh, been working for the last 38 years to provide uh, aid and, and sort of on a spectrum to development as well in 18 countries in the Caribbean and Latin America. Uh, we actually, have, through the generosity of our donors, have been able to provide almost $15 billion of aid in that time. So, uh, but, uh, you know, really our, our focus now is making sure that uh, we can help the people who need the greatest help. We serve the poorest of the poor in these communities where there is no safety net at all. Um, without us, I mean, it's, it sounds very dramatic to say, but without us, they often don't live. I mean, they, they, they need us for their food on a day-to-day -day basis. And of course, they need to think to, we need to help them with things like shelter. So we built 85,000 homes. Uh, we have uh, actually sent in about 85,000 containers of aid as well in that time. So it's really anything that allows uh, people to get back up on their feet. And we really believe in trying to lift people out of poverty. Well, uh, not just poverty, but also when they go through a, a horrible natural disaster. It's been, what, five, six months since a Hurricane Dorian devastated parts of the Bahamas, and you have been focused on the Bahamas. Tell us about the work you've done there. Well, you know, it's interesting. We hadn't been there before because we didn't think there were lots of poor people, but uh, this, uh, the devastation created poverty. So uh, we've actually visited uh, on several occasions with the government. Uh, we've been partnering with uh, the Mission Resolve Foundation in Fort Lauderdale. We've also been working with the churches, so uh, really every denomination, trying to figure out how best we can help. So the types of help have been uh, putting water systems in, and we put four of those in, large-scale water systems to help communities. We've been uh, r helping to send uh, a lot of building materials. In fact, uh, we've got building materials on their way to provide uh, enough to help 270 homes. Uh, and then, uh, then it's about uh, trailers of help. So we've sent 37 trailers of food and uh, items that are going to help people just deal with their day-to-day -day reality. So uh, it's been something we've been working on, uh, and we're actually going to do a lot more. Uh, Ed Rain, thank you very much. We put the uh, website information on the screen, and hopefully people will reach out. I know you've been in the community a long time and doing great work. Well, thank you so thanks much for the visit. Thank, thank you, you very much. Thanks for coming. CBS 4 News at 7 continues in just a minute.